Good afternoon. I'm Joy Andrews, St. John's County Administrator, and I'm here with David Burcham, City of St. Augustine City Manager. We're here to provide you with a local update on Hurricane Milton. At this time, we are preparing storm surge of three to five feet along Atlantic Coast and in St. John's River with heavy rainfall through Friday afternoon. As I was driving around this afternoon to check, there are areas in downtown St. Augustine, areas along the coast, Hastings and Flagler Estate are already seeing water level close to Matthew. With that said, St. John's County is still under mandatory evacuation order. The zones to evacuate are A, B, and F, south of State Road 206. Your time to evacuate is now. Our three shelters are open and we have more than adequate capacity. Special Medical Needs Shelter is at Freedom Crossing Academy. Pet Friendly Shelter is at Southwoods Elementary School and general population, Pedro Menendez High School. We will start to see unsafe weather impacts later tonight into early morning tomorrow. While we still keep our water line open on the major barrier islands, please still try to make plans to evacuate while we still have very little daylight left. Additionally, heavy rains and storm surges are putting pressure on our sewer system. An incoming heavy rainfall will make this worse. To protect our system and prevent sewer overflows, we ask for your help in next 48 hours by making concerted efforts to save water where you can. Second, we're seeing some misinformation related to evacuation. If you see any information out there about evacuations, shelters, or another safety message that you think are false or misleading, please call our Citizen Information Center at 904-824-5550. Thank you. David. In the city of St. Augustine, if you're in a low-lying or flood-prone area and do not plan to evacuate, we are asking that you shelter in place. Following the storm, you will see damage assessment teams taking inventory of storm damage. If you have flood damage to your property, we ask that you separate your debris into separate piles. Brush and yard debris in one pile, household debris, such as furniture and appliances, in another pile, and lastly, construction debris, such as drywall, flooring, or other building materials, in a third pile. Finally, please try to resist the urge to drive through flooded streets. As little as one or two inches of water from a car's wake can cause thousands of dollars of damage. Joy? Thank you, David. Please get the latest information at our www.sjcfl.us hurricane and sign up for Alert St. John's. And call our citizen information hotline, again, 825-5550. Please use common sense and make good choices. As our last message before arrival of Milton, we want to use this opportunity to thank all of our hardworking public safety and service team who is out there away from their families to keep us safe. Also, on behalf of them, we want to thank you for your attention and trusting us. Be safe.